previously on air. I'm gonna run from there. Mr. Palmer's last recorded statement could shed some light on how I died. We're going to Santa Barbara. Hey, December. Why don't you do it with such for a time? I want you to bring my sister back to life. Even if Sarah went into the pit, what came out of the pit would not be Sarah. Your daughter is alive. The most loving athlete in Connecticut is to return Sarah to a final rest. You are not gonna kill your own daughter. No, my daughter! Sarah? Enough for coming on board, Alex. Well, then it is a good thing you're paying me also. Sorry for the Holly, wait. Uh, this is Alex Davis, the new political strategist that was recommended. Old enough to boat, Alex? <laughs> I own the bar and I wasn't even old enough to drink. I am old enough to do both. Well, I'm glad that you joined the team, but I don't entirely know why I need a political strategist. Well, I guess the question then is, do you want to take office with 10% of the vote or 90? And after you win, you still need to be able to govern. Well, what has you concerned? My lack of experience? Uh, we can spin that. No, I'm talking about the kind of closet skeletons that could cripple you on your first day in office. Or personal Chappaquiddick. Wait, like that game from Harry Potter? Uh, Chappaquiddick was a, a scandal involving a can't-lose candidate whose campaign fell apart when he was caught having an affair after his vehicle went underwater and the girl he was with drowned. Does that sound at all familiar? Uh, referencing the Queen's Gambit and Sarah Lance. Yeah, yeah. You're about to do your first on-air sit-down, right? Yeah. Bethany Snow? Ten will get you twenty. She brings up Sarah and her sister. Alex, all due respect, I don't think that people care about my friendship with Floral Lance and an eight-year-old scandal when the city is disintegrating and there are masked and armed men helping it. Not to mention, there's a woman in Pennytown that's just running around killing people. You're right. I'm sorry. For a moment, I forgot how the electorate always cares about the issues and has zero appetite for scandal. You want this city united? You can't do it as the rich kid playboy from the tabloids. And like it or not, Laurel Lance is a constant reminder of that. So from this day forward, if anyone brings up Miss Lance, you distance yourself from her. Hey, just in time. I was looking for you. Why? I want to talk to you about something you forgot. What's that? Yeah, you want to play this? It's fine, my little pal. Let's go. I don't appreciate the intrusion, gentlemen. There's communications gear in here. We got ourselves a mole. Do you believe it's Mr. Quinn? Right. We've been on this island eight months without a single problem. He shows up, suddenly two guys find landmines and a bunch of trucks go missing. Yeah, Conklin, you got me. I didn't uh, wash up on shore here after a boating accident. I parachuted in on a secret spy mission. You want to die a liar. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no. You know, we have more impressive matters ahead. Perhaps if you were focused more on external threats rather than witch hunts. You would have caught this man spying on us in the field. Oh, I want to spy on me. I need you to that's got a cigarette. She mumbled something. It sounded, I don't know, Middle Eastern. All right, um, I'm going to have you sit down with a uh, sketch artist, okay? Take care of that. Dad. Hey. What happened? You tell me, these two bodies slapped by a woman, probably the same woman that's been linked to the murders of three other girls in the past few days, a blonde woman. Got it. I don't know what to make of it till tonight. And then this woman here, she says her suspect speaks some kind of Middle Eastern language, just like Sarah. Mm. Is she still at your place? I've been looking for her. Why didn't you tell me, huh? You tell Queen, you? Because he would just see this thing I see. Yeah, and how's that? How's that? Sarah, it's a thing that needs to be stopped. This is my daughter. Then why did I find you with a gun pointed at her head? I'm not proud of that, Lyle. But people are dying. If I pulled that trigger, maybe they wouldn't be. I'm gonna go back there. And hopefully I do before you are all alone. Curtis, I need you to do something for me. Felicity, look at me. Gym clothes, gym bag, do I don't those suggest anything to you? Physical fitness, but then I remembered you're a tech guy. I'm also a bronze medal decathlete. Bronze medal, huh? Beijing 2008. Beijing. Is it in the Olympics? Mr. Palmer's recording, did you play it? 
Yes, there's something off about it. Are you sure it's not the fact that it's a dying declaration from your ex? I mean, that is some serious Nicholas Sparks level stuff. Don't judge. Man can write emotion. No, not that. I mean, yes, there's that, but there's still some artifacts playing that shouldn't be there. What about your workout? Didn't seem to concern you 20 seconds ago. You hear that? Like, there's more to record it. Something overlapping with it. I was hoping you could clean it up for me. I mean, after your workout. You can wait. I'm glad you changed your mind about hearing Mr. Palmer's final words. Thank you, Craig. Oh, thank you for coming. Well, I think we both know I didn't have too much choice. No. Well, certainly not since you literally doubled the number of daughters I have to hold over you. Or did you take my advice and return Sarah to the grave? You didn't take my advice. Pity. What do you want? Well, a new beginning for the world. A nice glass of Merlot. Not necessarily in that order. Oh! And for you to do me a favor. There's a federal server farm 30 miles outside of the city. I want you to gain access and plug this little baby into one of the computers. How much is this thing gonna do? Oh, it's a no concern of yours. But don't worry. It's not like it's gonna destroy the city or anything. Whatever that flaw we can do to clear your head, it also improves your technique. You're effortless. Yeah, well, you know how I love my hostile massages. By the way, that political strategist was a good call. But his advice was a little harsh. I mean, distancing yourself from Laurel. I wasn't expecting that, but he made a few good points. What, like kicking your friends to the curb? Well, my friendship with Laurel is complicated. We have been in each other's lives for like forever. I mean, you have been in love with Laurel and Sarah, and Laurel, she, she took me in and seen her eye when I was completely lost. Even Captain Lance, okay? He has been there for us since Mom died. Okay, but your point? My point is that pretending that you don't know who your friends are... It, just doesn't feel very united. This is your overlord, Lady Smoke. We have a PA system. You have another decision I might like to regret. Hi, what's going on? Code 47 at a nightclub on 9th. A blonde woman going cray cray. And since I'm down here, it's probably the blonde woman we've been looking for. The woman who's killing people at night time. So that's it. Alive, she's out there, and she's hurting people. How is she alive? Lazarus Finn. She too spent her spa weekend in Vanda Parpa. It's the only place you could get a reservation. Bloodlust is worse with Sarah, isn't it? Because you brought her back from death. Yeah, and that's not the only problem. Sarah's not herself. She's changed. Why didn't you come to me with this? Come to you for what? Your expertise with magical resurrection? Or that judgmental look on your face? For help finding her, Laurel, before she gets hurt or she hurts anyone else. And if I have a judgmental look on my face right now, it's because you play with forces that you do not understand. And now people are dying because of it. See, John Constantine says so. Right on the business card your boss took from me. You have this on his person as well. Do you recognize these landmarks? Yeah. Good. Whatever it is, Mr. Constantine is looking for, I want you to find it and bring it back to me. Oh, come on. I'm telling you, you can't trust him. Then you can follow him. I don't want to What are you doing? You, you actually praying? No. No, these aren't prayers, mate. <laughs> Unless you want to redecorate your lovely home for these brains, I suggest you drop your weapon. Won't escape this island. Oh, I don't intend on leaving just yet. You really know the place on that map? Yes, I do. Yes. Good. You're going to kill me. Now, what? We need to talk. About Sarah? Walls hold you? Not exactly. 
You gotta admire our consistency. Keeps your death secret from me, or resurrection secret from you. Are, are you okay? Am I okay? I think there are certain situations in life where the word okay does not apply. Well, we're working on finding Sarah. Good. Because we got other problems. It's a rat. The remote access Trojan, basically a computer virus, a polymorphic code designed to target and erase certain pieces of data. It's buried under three levels of encryption. By the time I've cracked it. Dark could be wondering why I haven't run his errand for it. I'm not sending you to break into a federal facility without backup. I don't want Laurel know about me and Dark. I wasn't suggesting Laurel. I'll ever tell you that Dark works for an organization. Hive? Yeah. Hive had my brother killed. Sorry. And now, Detective, you're telling me that you were working with them? For them? It's a long story. I've got time. This city's been hurting. This is nothing new. Dirk comes to me. He offers to help fix it. He's got powerful friends. He's got money. And this is months before the ghost, all right? I didn't see him as anything other than a concerned citizen. Okay, and then? Well, then he's doing all this good stuff, and then he asks me where the fire chief is going on his vacation. So I give him the address of some cabin. Next day, the cabin blows up. You confront Dark about this? Of course I did. And that's when he shows me pictures of Laurel. At work, at home, AA meetings. So we're saying that your brothers are going to be a problem for us working together? No, Detective. Because you being next to Dark is going to help us take down Hive. Any luck connecting Sarah's victims? Just that she's only killed muggers and street thugs. I still can't believe that it's Sarah we're talking about. That she's alive. I mean, I know how it's possible, but how is it possible? The world is a much more complicated place than most people are comfortable believing. I received an old message from Ray in the moment right before he died. I almost didn't listen to it because I didn't want to feel that grief again. Threat of zombie apocalypse aside, isn't it kind of nice not having to deal with the pain of saying goodbye? Well, if we're that simple. Not a day goes by that I don't miss my parents or Tommy. And I think about what I would give just to spend another minute with them. But what's happening with Sarah isn't healing anyone's pain, it's just it's making it worse. She almost killed those two girls. I mean, why would she even go after them? Her marble collection's a little incomplete. Just guessing. Well, they have something in common. No. The waitress was Stephanie Dengas, and the girl at the club was Lindsay Paulson. Oh my god, both these girls here look like Thea. Passing on that judgment for tonight. Serve them up on a platter for me and help keep my blood lost at bay. Oh my god. Thank God you're all right. Laurel, come with me. 
to you, okay? Not only is Thea hospitalized, but she has Merlin influencing her to kill people. What are you talking about? Oh, just another thing that happened on your secret trip to Nanda Parvat. Hey, I didn't tell you that I took my sister to Nanda Parvat because I knew that you wouldn't approve. Why didn't you tell me you took Thea? What does that have to do with anything? It's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. What? It's okay for you to do whatever you have to for your sister, but it's not okay for me to do the same to mine. Sarah was dead. Thea wasn't. Then why didn't you tell me about Thea seven months ago? Because you don't see me as an equal. Oh, come on. Laurel, of course I see you as an equal. No, you don't. You never have. You never told me that you were the heir. That you divorced me down. becoming the Black Canary. And you never would have told me that there's a way to save my sister. Because of something that I did, a decision that I made. Did you have to stop and think for one second about what I might be going through? I'm sorry about that, Adia. I really am. I love your family. I always have. I just wish that sometimes you don't give a damn about mine. Get out. You sure this is the place? This is the place. What's going on? Who are you? How much do you know about what your boss is really doing on this island, eh? Making drugs. <laughs> if only. Your friend Riker, he's the dangerous sort. What's the mean? It means there are things on this island that bad people shouldn't have access to. Says the guy with a gun pointed at my head. I'm not a bad guy. A little hard scrabble, sure, but uh, I'm on the side of the angels, man. At least when they're not busy trying to screw me over. You're right, this is the spot. What? You've never seen magic before. I'll go on then, Alice. Down the rabbit hole you go. Nice job getting the in. You know, I'm going to do that before or after working Queen. We'll see that for another story. Yeah, I bet. Is this the access point? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. All right, keep an eye out for many cops. Don't do my career project. It's too much good. Is it working? Yeah, I think so. Looks like the virus is wasting files on people. Which people? Because why? Well, really good questions. Hey. Hey. Uh, what are you doing here? Waiting for you to wake up? Yeah. I owe you an apology. No. No, there's no need for you to apologize for anything. Yes, I do. I brought Sarah back without any idea of how to control her. That I'm the one who killed her in the first place. <laughs> That's why she's after me, you know. It's bloodlust she's consumed by. It's the same pain I feel when I think about Ross. I don't understand. Because the person that I'm driven to kill... The one who killed me is already dead. Thea, what are you talking about? So if she kills me, she'll be okay. If the only way to save Sarah is to kill you, then that's no cure at all. Much longer than two minutes. Wait, wait, what was that? What is it? I just saw my brother's name. That all about it. I didn't do anything. I just have to get back to whatever it is that's in the race. No, 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 no. We don't have time. Security's gonna be on the way now. I'm not leaving. Stop it! Stop it now! Hey, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Captain Lance, Star City Police Department. I just tracked this hacker here. All right. Now look. Go get some backup, right? Call this in. Come on, go! Go! This is the story. This is what you would have told me before you gave me a concussion. Come on. I'm gonna have another play on Hey. Yeah, I just came to make sure Dia was okay. I didn't have a chance to work on She's sleeping. Trying to. I know why you're here. 
Okay, I get it. I, I want you... I want you to know that it's... It's okay. I want you to do it. I'll tell you about what I said before. Is this the thing that you meant? Get out! You want to be here? I hated hospitals before tonight. It's not our excuse. Stay away. At the hospital, I looked Sarah in the eyes. She wasn't there. What does that mean? The pit is not supposed to be used on the dead. I brought Sarah's body back, but all of this is happening. Because it didn't restore her soul. We still need to find her. Okay. Sarah died long before you moved in, Floral, and she knew exactly which hospital room to work for you in. What, you think Sarah can sense the SMM? Here, I was just wrapping my mind around Medi. So we both been in the pit. Maybe, maybe that gives us some type of connection, a connection we can use. Sophia, you just got out of the hospital. I don't want to use you as bait. Well, I guess that's a good thing you're not in charge. We'll have her back on. All of us. I don't understand that. Well, that's a great thing about magic. Can't be explained. There are places in this world as old as the world. Places of nexus. Draw bad people to them. Asylum is such sort a of place. There's no accident to Yoria. I guess. Do not enter. More like. Only for the pure of heart. I saw some of the names you had erased. All military. But here I had you pegged for a Luddite. That's right. One of those names, Sergeant Andrew Diggle. What is he to you? He died six years ago. Why are you erasing the record of a dead man? You know what I'm going to tell you? And only because you completed your task with such efficiency. We hired an assassin to murder Sergeant Diggle. Why? Afghanistan's an interesting place, replete with opportunities for an enterprising enlisted man to engage in. What are you talking about? Drugs, weapons, murder. Your Sergeant Diggle was an eager beaver. Unfortunately for him, our organization weaved itself into that part of the world. And as you know, we don't play well with others. Say so how to kill them. What, what, what is this guy, your best buddy? I don't see you associating yourself with crime lords. Yeah. Yeah. Present company accepted. Now, are we done? I have to say, it feels really weird being back here right now. Don't worry. Everyone's in position. It's nothing, okay? I, I don't think this is going to actually work. <laughs> oh, God, I think they're back. Age, man. Do you remember that favor you owe me? I don't expect you to let me forget about. How quickly can you get to Star City? I need your help. So what, you're gonna perform some kind of exorcism on my sister? No, an exorcism is a removal of demonic possession. What your sister needs is a restitution and the restoration of her soul to her body. And you've done this before? No, once. Maybe a year ago. But don't worry, it's just like rising by. I'm sure we have a lot of work to do to prepare. I assume you're on a list. 
Apologies, I didn't have time to translate that from its original Aramaic. You know, if I knew you were surrounded by so many pretty girls, Oliver, I would have stopped by sooner. What well, I'll find this guy, the Luxor. Oh, I'm just glad that the latest person from Oliver's past is not another gorgeous woman. things go wrong, then we'll all be too dead to care. Well, then, now we just need... I think I got everything in here that you wanted, although I am not entirely sure what you need a dead peacock for the floor. Oh. Oh. oh, nice one. Nice to forgive me for hours. Now, I've only got enough juice to send myself and two of you to the other realm and back, so... Oh, I think it's me. I don't know what reason why she's like this right now. And no offense, love, but from what I hear... Uh, you're not exactly bringing out the best in Sarah right now, are you? Well, do you trust me? Trust me when I tell you this will work? Oh, there's a... One more thing. Whatever's locked her soul away, it's not gonna give it over without a fight. So be ready. All right, then. I'm with the show. Thank you, John. I owe you one. I believe I owed you one, mate. How's about we just call it even, eh? How about any time, anywhere you need me, I'll be there. I'll take that. You know, the hair on the back of my neck has been standing up since the moment I got into town. That is probably our current problem. Damien's dark. Oh, you've heard of that. You watch yourself in on that one, mate. You make what you saw in the other round look like a bloody neck. Any helpful advice? Yeah. 
to leave town while you still can. Well, he's a very specific kind of yummy. Oh, I never did. I didn't hear you just say that. Are, are we okay? I mean, I just keep waiting for you to blow up at me. Because you lied to me about Nanda Parbat. Yeah. Thea, I don't have the right to be mad at anyone for keeping secrets. But I'm sorry that I made you feel as though you had to. Come here. Nice one, mate. I owe you one. What the hell is all this? Well, this is the Orb of Horus. It's actually a grimoire. An ancient spellbook. You asked. And uh, what are you going to do with it? Same as I do with all the other mystical objects I find. Keep them in a safe place, away from the barren writers of this world. Remember what I told you about this island, mate. This writer block is not only for the narcotics. But then again, it's not your problem, is it? Come back with me. I got a boat on the southern shore. So those people at camp. I can't leave them behind. Well, aren't you the hero? I also can't come back empty-handed. Conklin suspects me enough for this. Fair enough. Yeah. Goons like Wright are only interested in the sparkly bits anyway. The real power is in the spell. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Lift up your shirt, mate. What did you just do? I gave you some insurance against Ryder. When the time comes, you'll know how to use it. Now I believe that concludes our business. Uh, I, I need you to punch me in the face. Right. My uh, escape attempt left the bruise, right? All right. I must warn you, I've got out of my hog. So just stay on message. Unity, united community. United. Got it. All right. Hey, Laurel. Okay, maybe we need to work on your understanding of the phrase distance yourself. Only if you insist on continuing to use it when it relates to my friends. Okay. It's your campaign. You pay me whether you win or lose. Uh, I am going to go keep him from quitting. But I'm very proud of you right now. Sarah. Resting. It turns out that getting your soul back is exhausting. Yeah. Holly, I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to thank you. Just like that. <laughs> well, thank you. And thanks, Steve, for inviting me here tonight. After what I sent you in the hospital, I thought that I'd be the last person you'd want to see. Well, you were right. I haven't always been the best friend for you, but I'd be grateful for the opportunity to try to start to be. How can I say no to the man that helped me save my sister's soul? Yeah. I made mistakes. Mistakes that have hurt people close to me. But I'm not here to run from the past. Because the past has contributed to making... Don't you be all celebrating with Sarah? Yeah, there's enough time for that. Please. I figured I owed you something. I asked Stark about your brother. He uh, gave me something. You don't have to read this. You can remember your brother, how you knew him. Are you sure? Yes, Richard. I'm very sorry. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How many of these have you drank? It's drunk, actually. 
and Minnie, but worth it. You cleared up the rest of Marie's message? I think so. Uh, the playback was wondering when you came in, so pitch was timing. <laughs> You're not even allowed to say energy drink while in company time ever again. That's okay. I think I might be having a cardiac incident anyway. So, the message, check it out. I was just about to call you. Wait, where's my phone? Wait, did I call you already? Chris? <laughs> I'm sorry, Felicity. This is my fault. I, I got myself into this mess. It's a great room. I'm going to fix a suit and nanotechnology. But recriminations probably aren't the best use of this limited bandwidth. What I need you to know is I'm alive and I'm in trouble. Move your head.